Hey guys, it's Simply Sarah Beth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a mall tour. So a little backstory on this mall. Uh, I was just filling Newcrest with a bunch of random lots, just building to build and get stuff out there and I didn't know what to do so I asked for ideas and my boyfriend suggested I build a mall which I've never built something that wasn't a house before and so this was a challenge for me I originally said no uh, I wasn't gonna build this and I just went and looked at the biggest lot in Newcrest to see if it was doable so I just started mapping out where I wanted the shape of the mall to be and what kind of stores I would put in it. And before I knew it, I was halfway done building it when I wasn't even going to build it in the first place. So here it is and I'm going to show it to you. So it's just a little strip mall. Um, like I said, on the biggest lot in Newcrest. And it's just one story. When I started building this mall, I just started with the outside shape. Um, I actually started with this little pathway in the middle first, and then I built a shape around it and just went from there. It, the whole thing was just not planned and I just went for it. So we have in here a coffee shop a clothing store, a food court, an outdoor venue, a hair salon and spa, a vet, an oddities shop, and a bar. The Sims doesn't let you have multiple venue types on one lot, so I made this a spa lot so that it automatically just fills the spa. The hair salon doesn't work because that, there's no hairstylists in The Sims. But the food court works. You can just hire vendors for it. Um, the coffee shop works. Hire a vendor. And the, they automatically hire a vendor for the bar. So that automatically works. So the only thing that isn't functional is the vet, and I don't know if you can make it functional on this lot. Um, I've never really built a vet before, and I've never played one, so I don't know. Maybe you can make it functional. Um, and then the clothing store and the oddities shop are not functional. And like I said, the hair salon. But everything else is, so... It's exciting, so let's get into it. So this is the outside. When you first walk up into the mall, we've got these little parking meters. And then this is the first little store on the outside here. It's the only one that has street access. It's kind of off to the side a little bit not really in with the main part of the mall um, this is the little oddities shop so we're gonna go in here first so this one is pretty much just filled with a bunch of random things from uh, Strangerville and from the vampires pack and realm of magic so just all the weird things. Yeah, got, got these little knickknack guys. That shelf was full. I don't know what the game did. I think I had plants on it. I don't know if they spoiled or what. They're gone. <laughs> and I don't remember exactly what I had on there. But yeah, I just kind of filled this with just all the weird stuff and kind of kept the little theme. So here's like the vampire pack stuff. 
Realm of Magic. And there's this little booth. And then you can buy some weird books over here. And then these little plants in the in the case. So there's the little oddity shop. Super cute. Super quirky. These little spaceship lights. So this is the main street, or walkway, I guess, going in through the mall. You've got the little mall sign there, the coffee shop patio, and then we've got the bar patio over here. A little area to eat. You can bring your dogs here, but don't let them poop on the lawn. a nice little area to hang out here. And then moving forward over around to this way. We've just got the bar, the vet, and the salon. And then there's the outdoor venue. Little sign to tell you who's playing, what's going on there. Spotlights. Super nice little area to play. So if we go back over here, we'll start on this end with the coffee shop. So we've got the little coffee shop counter, some seating areas. Uh, you can purchase, that's functional. You can buy food out of that little bridge thing. Play some music, have a pianist in here, and some a singer. This little area that you can just sit and talk. Nice little coffee shop area. There's a TV. And then we've got the back patio over here. There we have our coffee shop. Now we'll move on to the clothing store next door. So in here, you can buy clothes. This one's not functional because it's not a retail lot. But we've just got some shoes over here and some fancy clothes, some perfume and cologne on this end. Some gift wrapping, undressed mannequins, and then we've got this wall over here for formal clothing, and then we've got the casual clothing over this way, and then we've got the weird clothes in the middle. There's the clothing store. It would be nice if it was functional. Hopefully at some point they add in lots that can be multiple venue types because I've basically got every venue type there is on here but here is the food court so we've got the tables and chairs set up for people we've got this little open skylight in the ceiling and then we've got Cupcake vendor. Uh, I believe that's Japanese food. I don't know anything about Japanese, so I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, American food? I don't remember what these booths all are. And we have a little bathroom in here. The public restroom. So we've got a stall. And then the sink area. So that is the food court. And then we will move on next door. Well, next door is the 
outdoor venue, so we'll move on to the salon next. The salon's one of my favorite parts because uh, I am a hairstylist in the real world. So I work in a salon, so this is actually kind of why I built this, because I really missed working. Um, because we couldn't work for almost two months because of the quarantine, so I was missing the salon and I wanted to build one. So this is when you walk into the salon, you see the front desk. Super fancy. And then the little waiting area, waiting room, the retail area, and then we've got the salon and the spa is built up or er, split up into two. So in the salon, we've got this little wall to take pictures have those Instagram pictures of your hair and then we have the stylist stations over here each got their little private chair and their little lit up mirror and everything is super white in here because we don't like color to mess with our pictures and our perceptions of what color people's hair is we don't want those blondes thinking their hair is orange and then we've got the salon or the spa in here. So we've got the little sauna rooms, a couple of them. And then the little I just use these from the pre-made rooms cuz they're already perfect. <laughs> Don't need to change them. So we've got our little spa area and then next door we have our vet so this is our little waiting area in our vet and the check-in area and a little Roomba to pick up all that dog hair where the receptionist sits. And then we go back, we've got the cat room, the surgery room, and the dog room. So we'll go into the cat room first. And here we've just got some cat stuff. Everything you need to take care of your kitties. Little posters about them. And then we've got our surgery room and then we've got our dog room same thing as the cat room but dogs so that is our vet and then the last room in the small is our bar. So we walk in here, we've got the bar, and the menu, and then the dance floor over here. A little seating area, and then you can play some games. And then the bar has the biggest bathroom in the whole mall. Because people have to go to the bathroom in the bar. So we've got our sink area. Little towels and some perfume to spruce yourself back up. And then we've got our little stalls. And then when we leave the bathroom, we can go outside. And there is the bar patio. And it's super pretty at night here too. 
but that is the whole ball. So I'll show you what it looks like at night. So we've got our view of our bar at night, our little bar patio. Super nice. Everything's all lit up. We'll go back into the bar, check it out. She's being creepy over there. She must be a vampire. That is totally how you get people to come into your bar. Yeah, that is the mall. Super nice place to just go hang out, have your sims just come hang out, have a party there or something. And this lot is in the gallery, so you can just find it under Sim Sarabeth. And it's just the mall. <laughs> I didn't think of a creative name for it or anything. And then, if you watched my farmhouse build, you'll remember that I said the people who live across the street had a whole farm and they sold their land to the city developers and that's why there's this mall over here. But that is it for the mall tour. Let me know what you thought about it. If you liked the idea of the mall, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!